So the state of Illinois is passing a new bill which aims to ban so-called assault weapons, create an assault weapons registry, and also ban so-called large capacity magazines. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, I want to make a channel announcement. I want to let you all know that I have started doing a podcast. I will be releasing a new episode every Monday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can find the podcast on all platforms, including iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and a bunch of other ones. You can also find the audio version over on my second YouTube channel, and I will leave a link to all these down below. So I would love your support on the podcast. Again, links will be linked down below to everywhere where you can find the new episodes. And thank you guys again for all of your support. And the first episode will go live tomorrow morning. So like I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we will be discussing how the state of Illinois is currently moving to pass a new bill, which aims to ban the purchase, possession, and sale of so-called assault weapons and also ban so-called large capacity magazines. Illinois recently introduced House Bill number 5855. House Bill 5855 was known as the Protect Illinois Communities Act, and it was a bill which would ban the manufacture, possession, purchase, and sale of so-called assault weapons and also magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. We've talked about this bill prior on the channel. However, recently the language in that House bill was put into another bill called Senate Bill 2226, and it was added in as amendments to that bill and was sent over to the House. And recently, the House in Illinois passed it with a vote of 64 votes in favor and 43 votes against. So now that it has passed in the House, it is making its way now to the Senate for a vote, which allegedly is supposed to happen tonight, this Sunday, and it's going to happen kind of in the wee hours of the night. It was really funny to see how anti-gun politicians in this state were going to work really fast, were going to work overtime, essentially to violate your rights, even on a weekend. They are pushing this through through the lame duck session to try to get this on the governor's desk before the end of this upcoming week so that he can sign it into law. So let's take a closer look at this bill and what language is included in this and what they are planning to do. So first, the bill will make it illegal to manufacture, deliver, sell, or purchase an assault weapon, assault weapon attachment, 50 caliber rifle, or 50 caliber ammunition. For the purposes of the bill, it first has a specific list of makes and models that it will define to be so-called assault weapons and also assault pistols. This is similar to what states like California have done in the past with their original ban on so-called assault weapons. Then the bill goes on to define a specific term of so-called assault weapons, and it says that it will mean any semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has at least one offending feature. Those offending features could be a folding or telescoping stock, a pistol grip, a forward pistol grip, or a flash suppressor. Again, very similar to the language that you would see in the state of California and New York as well. The bill also has a catch-all provision that defines an assault weapon attachment, meaning that any firearm attached with an accessory that the state deems an assault weapon attachment will therefore be treated to be an actual assault weapon and be banned within the state. Also under this bill, there will be a future ban on the purchase and possession of 50 caliber rifles and ammunition as well. Now, as always, these bills try to win hearts and minds by including some sort of grandfather provision. They usually add in a clause that says that they are going to grandfather in some of these weapons. The bill states that 300 days after this bill is passed, it will be unlawful to purchase or possess so-called assault weapons. The caveat to that is that if you purchase and possessed one of these firearms prior to that date, it will then be grandfathered in, but you will need to register it with the state. So the state of Illinois is grandfathering in these firearms, but you will have to pay a $25 fee to place that firearm on a registry. And again, the consequences is that you're going to have to put this on a registry. And if you don't, then you could be hit with a class three felony for violating this law in the state of Illinois. So if this bill passes, there will be a future possession and purchase ban in the state of Illinois. And again, will ban standard AR-15s, AK rifles, and other similar types of pistols. But like I mentioned, this bill did not just stop with a ban on so-called assault weapons. It also attempts to ban so-called large capacity magazines. Under the bill, it will be illegal to buy, sell, 
or possess a magazine capable of holding more than 12 rounds. Originally, they set the capacity to be 10 rounds, but then they claimed that they were going to make a concession and up the round count to 12 rounds. This whole 12 slash 10 round distinction shows how arbitrary this law really is. They have absolutely zero rationale for a specific round count capacity in banning specific magazines. This prohibition impacts belts, drums, feet strips, and similar items that they state can be readily converted to accept more than 12 rounds. Now, a really important thing to note is that in this section of the bill, they state that they will not provide for any grandfathering of these magazines. The only option that you will have with these magazines that you own that are more than 12 rounds is that you will have to permanently alter the magazines so that they can only accept 12 rounds or you will have to destroy those magazines. Now, also originally in the original language of the bill, they were trying to also increase the age-based restriction from 18 year old to 21 years of age. And that again was for an individual to be able to purchase firearms in the state of Illinois. Recently, we've seen various federal lawsuits where courts have struck down these types of age-based restrictions, but Illinois wanted to try their hand at an age-based restriction. However, the age-based restriction that was originally in the language was dropped. Again, they claim it was another concession to get this bill passed. So like I mentioned earlier, all this language was added into Senate Bill 2226 and has already passed the House in the state of Illinois. They're now going to vote on this in the state Senate to try to get this bill passed and then get it to the governor's desk so that it can be signed into law. So if you're in the state of Illinois, please contact your local and state representatives and let them know that you oppose this bill. Also reach out to your local two-way organizations in the state that will no doubt be fighting this and trying to get this stopped. Join those organizations and donate to them because they will be the ones on the front lines fighting to get this bill either stopped or they will be filing lawsuits against it to try to prevent it from going into effect. Also, if you know any pro 2 organizations in the state of Illinois, please drop them down below, mention them down in the comment section so that others who are in the state can join those organizations and join in the fight. No doubt if this does pass, you will have various toy organizations like GOA, FBC, SAF. They will all be suing the state of Illinois to try to stop the enforcement of this bill, but it's better to never even get to that point it's better to try to stop this before it actually becomes a law. It's much harder to get rid of these laws once they are passed and go into effect. And we've seen a success recently in states like Oregon, New York, and New Jersey, but you can't always count on that. So again, get active if you're in the state of Illinois. So that is what's currently going on in the state of Illinois with their new proposed ban on so-called assault weapons, with their assault weapons registry, and also their ban on so-called large capacity magazines. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer the best of my ability. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and you would like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. As always, I wanna thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel, and helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars, and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.